Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today, BT-17 is right around the corner. So we're going to look at cards that I'm excited for in BT-17. So we're starting with BT-17 Chaos Gallant, uh, Gallant Crimson Mode. Sorry, I've got Chaos Gallant on the brain. Uh, which is kind of related to why I'm excited for this card. So this digivolves from any level 6 with Gallantmon in its name for 4. So uh, now Crimson Mode is no longer locked to just red Gallantmon decks. Uh, I can Blast Ace this on top of a Gallantmon uh, Chaos Gallantmon, uh, which makes me really, really happy because uh, I like to play Mill Gallantmon. Uh, I like to play it with the Chaos Gallantmon top end, fully purple. Uh, and now this is going to synergize really, really well with that and give me a way to actually have a viable top end since BT5 Chaos Gallantmon is really, really bad. So uh, if you don't know what this card does on play when Digivolving, you're going to choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to 15,000 or less and delete them. And then when attacking for every 10 cards in both players' trash, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Um, so this is just going to mow down their security. Uh, it synergizes really well with Mill, uh, and it's going to be a, at, at worst, this is going to be a free Evo into something that pops a 15k or less, uh, and then it's going to probably trash one check one. So I really like it. I think it makes Chaos Gallimon much better, uh, and it's just going to be a great deck for me to play uh, in BT-17. The second card I'm really excited for is BT-17 Dex Dorogoromon. Uh, this will digivolve on top of Dorogoromon. Dorogoromon for 2, uh, otherwise it digivolves on a black or purple level 5 for 5, uh, and this new support just kind of has two ways to play. You can either play it SOC Tribal, which is the better way to play it, you take the Lugamon bottom end and you kind of mix it with this Dex Dorogoromon top end, uh, and I believe it's just more resource efficient. You have two AGs uh, that you can play with that engine now rather than just the one Kosuke, um, but I will probably be playing Dorumon Tribal. I think it's more fun, it's more my flavor. Uh, but this card's effect is trash all turns when one of your Dorogoromon would be deleted by digivolving that Digimon into this card in the trash without paying the cost. Prevent that deletion. When digivolving, de-digivolve 3, one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if Dorogoromon is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, or if digivolving from the trash, delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. All turns once per turn. When another Digimon is deleted, you may unsuspend this Digimon. So you're going to get to make your opponent's boss monster uh, quite small. Um, usually de-digivolve is really, really hard to get around unless you're Magna X. So you're going to de-digivolve it all the way down to a level 3, pop all their lowest level Digimon, so probably all their level 3s, um, and then if something's deleted, you're going to get to unspend, which I like this with the old X-Antibody card. Uh, if you have this with the new Dorogoromon, uh, you swing your collision check with Kosuke underneath, you get to unsuspend after you delete something, uh, swing a second check with X-Antibody underneath, uh, you know, something has to block because of collision, you can then uh, digivolve into this from your hand, uh, or if you swing into something that's too big for you to get over, you can digivolve into this from the trash, uh, and you just kind of get to remove another threat from the board, which feels really nice in that deck. So I'm excited to be able to play around with this uh, and do some shenanigans with it. Then we have Eosmon from BT17. Uh, this digivolves from a level 5 Eosmon for 4 cost when digivolving when attacking. Once per turn, you can play 1 level 5 or lower Eosmon from your hand without paying the cost. All turns once per turn when one of your Eosmon is played, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with as much or less DP as that Digimon. Your turn for each Tamer, all of your Eosmon get plus 1000 DP. Uh, I'm just, I've always wanted to play Eosmon. Uh, it never seemed particularly good. Uh, I don't really know, just off first glance, how good this is going to be as additional support for Eosmon. Um, but we have more support now, finally. So uh, to me, that's a good enough reason to try and play this, uh, to give it a whirl. Uh, it doesn't seem terrible. It totally seems playable. You're going to get your level 5 or lower Eosmon just from hand when digivolving and when attacking. So if this sticks around, it's going to build a lot of pressure, I think. Um, and then when Eosmon is played, you're going to pop something that's smaller. So you're probably going to be popping level 5s, uh, maybe level 4s, and then just trying to build up board pressure and swinging. This does seem like a deck that's uh, kind of weak to Death Xmon, uh, possibly Ruin Mode. But um, I haven't looked at the other support, so it's hard to say. I just know it's something that uh, I'll be giving a try, probably. Then we have the Fenri Lugamon Takami Kazuchi. Uh, this is the DNA between Fenri Lugamon and Kazuchimon. From trash, when one of your level 6 Digimon with Pulsemon in its text is played, two of your Digimon made DNA Digivolve into this card in your hand. So basically, if you have one level 6 on board and then you plop the other one down, you can be able to DNA. And then when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 16k for the turn. If you DNA Digivolve, you set your opponent's memory to 3. And if a Tamer card is in your sources, you gain a memory and recover 1. Uh, when attacking by trashing the top card of your security stack, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Now, the reason that the memory resetting is kind of silly uh, is if you're at, you know, like three or whatever, and you just slam down your uh, Kazuchimon or your Fenrir Lugamon, you put your opponent at nine or ten, 
uh, you're going to DNA into this and then go all the way back to three. So it's as if you just paid like three memory uh, for whatever level six you're hard playing. You're going to pop something with a minus 6k. You're probably going to gain a memory recover one, setting the opponent to two. Depending on the inheritables, you might be able to keep the turn. I believe the new Fenry Lugamont actually lets you keep turn just like the old one does. Um, and then by that when attacking just means that you're putting your opponent on a clock. Uh, Lugamont's already really, really aggressive. So I find it hard to believe you're going to lose that clock, even if you're trashing your security and your opponent's. Um, and ideally, that recovery one effect will put you at more security than your opponent has uh, so that you are winning that clock uh, pretty hard. So just a cool card. Um, I don't know how good the deck is. I hope it's great. Um, but, you know, this is a secret rare, so hard to say if I'm actually going to shell out the money to play it. Might proxy it up and see. Then lastly, the Parasite Mon. Uh, I really like these like hand trappy cards, kind of like the Ragnalord. I guess it's not a hand trap, but just you play it uh for the effect more so than for the evolution uh hand main by paying four cost and placing this card as the bottom digivolution card of one of your level five or higher digimon you may suspend one of your opponent's digimon and attack an opponent's digimon with the digimon this card was placed under it has alliance and end of attack you may place this digimon as the bottom digivolution card of one of your other digimon the inheritable says when an opponent's effect would delete this digimon you may play one parasite mon from this digimon's digivolution card so that paying the cost and your turn you gain 3k dp uh, what I really like about this is you don't have to tuck it under a green level 5 or higher. You tuck it under any level 5 or higher Digimon, uh, and then you get the 3k DP and you suspend an attack. So if there's anything that you can swing over with that 3k DP boost, uh, you effectively pay for memory to tuck this under something and swing over your opponent's Digimon. And I just think that's really interesting. I don't know what you can do with this. I feel like there's something silly that you can do uh, in some kind of deck where this just becomes... A problem. Uh, I also like that if your stack dies with this underneath, you get to spit out the Parasite Mon. That seems good too, because it, you're going to swing over your opponent's body. Uh, if they swing back over you or, or you lose your body somehow, you still get the Parasite Mon, uh, which means that you can use this for something. I mean, it has Alliance. You can get two checks in there if you have another body on board, uh, or you can just swing it for the chip damage and you've gotten, you, you know, your four memories worth out of this, I feel. So uh, I just think this is an interesting card um, in general. So uh, that's kind of it for my BT17 cards that I'm looking at that I'm excited to play. Um, let me know what you guys are looking forward to in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what kind of decks you want to see me build uh, for BT17. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.